Hello Virgo, welcome to your love reading. This is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. So please just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Feel free to check your other planetary placements as well for additional information or insights. And make sure you hit that thumbs up button, guys. I love the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment below. I read every single comment. And share my videos. The larger my channel gets, the more giveaways I will have and the bigger giveaways. And don't forget about my Lenormand class. It will be on July or January 25th. I keep saying July. I'm probably going to have another one in July more than likely. But July 25th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And it will be done, a live interactive between me and everybody else um, via Zoom. And the seats are limited. I'm not trying to have a huge crowd <clears throat> because I want to be able to interact with everybody. Also, um, you can register on my website at mysticgen.com. In the featured products section, there is a link um, to reserve your seat. Okay, now um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button also and that notification bell uh, so that you don't miss any of my uploads and you don't miss my shout my giveaways and my shout outs. Okay, so now for Virgo, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, what energy is surrounding my Virgos at this time? What love energy is surrounding my Virgos? Right now, please. Okay, Virgo. You have the Seven of Cups. Oh, and this one. Okay, you get three cards. Lucky you, because both of these turned over in a deck. Oppression and Prince of Arrows. Okay, this speaks volumes. Okay, what the message here is saying that somebody acted very impulsively because, you know, they had a lot of options and somebody made an impulsive decision, which is kind of causing this tower moment per se. It's like everything blowing up. Somebody, it's like when you make impulsive decisions... And you don't really think them through. Sometimes you make these decisions without enough information and everything just kind of blows up. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. Okay, so we are now going to go into the 12 signs. If you are dealing with one of these signs, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Gods, Clarity, Messages and Guidance, for Virgo and each 12 sign, please, starting with Aries. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. Messages, guidance for Aries. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Starting with Aries for Virgo. Okay, if you are dealing with an Aries, we have Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Somebody is bringing in a new offer of love. If you're de dealing with a Taurus, King of Cups, Hermit. Somebody has become emotionally unavailable and has withdrawn. If you're dealing with a Gemini, King of Pentacles, and a Magician. Somebody is manifesting some their abundance. Um, cancer. 
You eight of swords. Three of cups. Somebody is caught up in their head over a third party here. Leo. Two of cups. And the devil. There's some kind of obsess obsessive behavior in a connection. If you're dealing with another Virgo. Five of wands. Ace of wands. A lot of anxiety, a lot of um, conflict, competition over a new beginning. If you're dealing with a Libra, Queen of Cup, a Queen of Pentacles, and Six of Cups, somebody from the past is entering the scene again. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Queen of Wands, and the Chariot. So, we have a very fiery person rushing towards you very quickly. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, we have the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Somebody's tired of the lies and deceit. <clears throat> if you're dealing with a Capricorn, Two of Swords and the Six of Swords. Somebody's blocking another person and moving on. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, five of pentacles and eight of coins. Somebody's tired of being breadcrumbed. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, you got the lover's card and the moon. There are secrets in a love connection here. Under the deck, we've got the knight of swords. Somebody's rushing in very quickly. A lot of um, upheaval, potentially. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the main spread. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Messages and Guidance, please, for Virgo. Clarity, Messages and Guidance, please, for Virgo. Clarity, messages, and guidance for Virgo. Clarity, messages, guidance for Virgo. Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides. What does Virgo need to know concerning their love life? What does Virgo need to know concerning their love life? Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. We have the Hanged Man. Um, Piscean Energy. We have Seven of Coins Reversed. We have the Three of Coins. Page of Wands reversed, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have the Strength, Leo Energy. So what I'm feeling here, um, Virgos, is that we have somebody that has been um, really hanging in there, waiting on a wish fulfillment. Somebody has been not, unable to uh, move forward. Somebody's been taking a time out, trying to manifest a wish fulfillment here. And we, and because... They have been putting a lot of work into a connection that doesn't seem to be growing. And somebody's having the strength to give deliver the bad news to another person that, you know, I'm not happy here. Somebody's having that strength and courage to abandon this path that they started out on. This feels like this could have been a new path, a, a new start, something that somebody had a lot of passion in. But, you know, they feel like they were breadcrumbed. They feel they put all this work in, and it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. And somebody has been really waiting on their wish fulfillment here. Um, we have the Seven of Cups. And the Three of Swords. 
So yeah, somebody is like definitely heartbroken over here. Somebody had multiple options. That's why there's been no growth here because we have somebody that had multiple options. And they've been looking for their wish fulfillment. I think looking for love in all the wrong places is what I'm getting. And they keep going from option to option. This is somebody who's not settling down because they are looking for that wish fulfillment. Maybe they, they're looking for certain expectations in a person. And with all these options here, they keep coming up against heartbreak because they, they're looking for love in all the wrong places. Um, we have the High Priestess. Um, which is Cancer Energy. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Somebody is trusting in their intuition and trying to be practical about it. Um, somebody is definitely very secretive about their activities. Um, somebody's trying to be responsible here. We have a responsible party here, but we also have somebody keeping secrets. Um, we have the we got the tower card again. There's the tower. Here's the tower. Aries Scorpio energy here. And we have the King of Swords reversed here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I feel like somebody's very angry. So there is this tower moment. Things are falling. And if because somebody did not use logic somebody was very impulsive somebody i'm gonna flat out say it made a foolish decision and there and something was built on a false foundation as a result and now there's this tower falling um we have the nine of coins five of coins reversed Justice, Libra energy. Nine of Wands reversed. Page of Coins. Taurus Virgo, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And we have the Ace of Cups. Okay, so, you know, somebody's moving out of this energy. Uh, somebody's got, like I said, it has headed towards heartbreak time and time again. I feel like multiple tower moments because somebody's very impulsive. Somebody has multiple options and looking for love in all the wrong places, like I said. And but when we have somebody who is single here, somebody who, um, however, you may may be in the space of, I'm okay on my own. I'm deprived. I'm not deprived anymore. I'm coming out of this. Somebody's coming out of this sense of being deprived, being left out in the cold. It's like this energy of, okay, I need to be abundant. I need to be able to stand on my own two feet. I need to be able to balance the scales for myself. And, and rest up. I'm tired of all the tower moments. I'm tired of the struggles here. And when somebody is, it's like somebody is changing their mindset here when they're looking for love. And what is going to happen is they are going to get a solid, bona fide offer of a new beginning, new love, something that's well grounded, something solid, something stable. So I feel as though whoever this reading is for, it's about changing your mindset. And stop looking for love in all the wrong places. Okay, we're going to get some clarity on this. Clarify the cards on the board. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, please clarify the cards on the board for Virgo, please. Please clarify the cards on the board for Virgo. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, please clarify the cards on the board for Virgo. Clarify the cards on the board for Virgo. And 
and for some of you this is not um i just got a download from source okay and it's like so, love has been right before your eyes all along and you didn't see it that's not actually in the cards right here with the exception of the ace of cups that was just a download i just received from the universe from source love has been right before your eyes all along okay let's see what other additional messages okay we have the emperor aries energy with the um nine of cups so somebody is definitely taking control somebody is definitely setting they somebody set their boundaries for exactly what they want they have certain specifications and they're not settling for less we have the six of cups reversed with the hangman uh, somebody may have been romanticizing the past. Someone was waiting on someone from the past to return. Um, we have the high priestess in reverse with the um, high priestess cancer energy with the uh, seven of pentacles. This is about a secret com has come out. And I think that's where a lot of this, somebody realized that somebody else held secrets and they realized that, oh, this is not for me. This is has no place to grow moon reversed with the three of pentacles i think that um, might have learned about a third party or um, you may have had multiple options and a partner might have learned about a third party here we have the eight of cups here with the um with the five of wands somebody's walking away from the competition somebody's walking away from the strife and the conflict because it is um, emotionally straining and emotionally unfulfilling here. Queen of Cups here with the strength. Somebody's being loving to themselves. They're having the strength to love themselves enough and to find true love. This is a true love. This is um, someone who loves with all her heart. Okay. And I feel like that somebody is abandoning this to try to find that per that person. Seven of Swords refers for the Seven of Cups. Somebody is giving up on sneaking around behind the scenes this is somebody who has been left in the dark we have someone that was left in the dark about this situation and i think this happens time and time again look like i said looking for love in all the wrong places the wrong people people that are untrustworthy um, we've got the three of pentacles here with the three of swords so somebody had gotten burned the tower fell with a third party because we had somebody who cheated plain and simple um prince of wands um with the high priestess here, Aries Leo Sagittarian energy. So I feel like that somebody is trusting their intuition. Somebody is getting downloads from the universe, from source. They're, somebody's intuition is kicking in and saying it's time to move forward. It's time to leave this behind. Queen of Pentacles on the Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, somebody, I feel like there is this very loving, nurturing connection here. There is, and again, I'm getting, now I'm, I see why I'm getting, there was love right before your eyes all along. So I think that there may even have been somebody waiting on the sidelines for you to settle down, for you to make your decisions here. We had the five of swords here with the tower. So yes, yeah, somebody did not act with integrity. Okay. Somebody played a lot of head games, a lot of mind games, and it caused the tower to fall here. We have the um, ace of wands with the reverse with the king of swords reversed. So, that you know, somebody act, did not act with integrity. Somebody may have been even abuse mentally or verbally abusive. Some Because I feel like somebody was like just very downright mean and downright cold. And it caused a connection that goes south. We've got the chariot here um, with the nine of coins. So somebody is definitely having victory. Somebody is going to be victorious on their own. Somebody is moving. Somebody is moving towards victory. Um, the wheel of we have the wheel of fortune here. Um, Sagittarius, Pisces, Aquarian energy here. So the wheel is definitely changing in somebody's favor. They're coming out of this sense of being deprived, being left out in the cold. Universe is working on your side. We have karma here with the justice card. So, you know, the scales are going to even out in your favor here. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You know, some it may not come right away. 
With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, sometimes it means some a false start. But uh, what I'm feeling here more though with this, uh, what I'm feeling here is something that was a false start. It's going to turn around. Something that you know you you were treated unfairly. But karma's coming around and going to set the record straight. And there may be a little bit of a delay, but I feel as though that as you work through this, as you work through things yourself and work on yourself. There is definitely a golden opportunity coming up here. Um, the two of cups reversed with the nine of wands. Somebody's tired of, like I said, somebody's tired of the battle. Somebody's tired of trying to find love and failing every corner that they turn. But that is going to turn around, folks. We have the ten of swords here with the page of pentacles. So, you know, all that betrayal is over. You come into the end, the worst is over because you have a bona fide offer on the coming on the table. And it's nothing that you, you there's no juggling here with the two of pentacles reversed. You're not, there's not going to be any juggling about this decision. This person that's coming in is not going to juggle you and somebody else. It is like going to be a done deal. It is going to restore balance in your, in your life here. Um, we have uh, three of swords energy with the king of wands reversed because you are leaving behind a painful situation of somebody that was unfaithful, untrustworthy, restoring balance. Here's justice again, and justice is going to be served. Um, Six of Swords energy. You are moving forward in the right direction as soon as you make your mind up, and, and you have to be decisive and be very clear about your intentions, okay? And it is going to bring about the stability where you're going to be able to build that family. You're going to be able to feel, build a solid home life. Okay. Let's see what else we have. We have the coffin. So this is telling me the, uh, the worst is over now. And it's time to embrace the new. A new start. A new beginning. A new life. Yes, yeah, celebrations. It is going to be a time to celebrate because you're getting past the hor the tower moments. You, it's like the worst is over now. Phoenix, there is a huge positive change happening for you right now. A big shift in energy. And it's telling you to listen to your intuition. The situation will improve. There you go. Wow, Virgo. This is a very positive reading for you. Because I see where you've come from. And I see where you're headed. You're leaving all this BS behind. Contemplation. This is something you've been really thinking about a lot. Uh, you've been contemplating your next move. Where do you go next? Um, and light. There is a light at the end of that tunnel here. There is a light of safety. And the lighthouse is also, also a light of caution. Okay. Um, I think you saw the warning signs with this last person that you were with. And, you know, you saw it. You've been thinking about it. Um, you're going through this change and once this is all ended, you know, it's got, you're going to feel re-energized again when this new person comes into your life. Okay. This is what I have for you, Virgo. Um, and I, I, please make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, and I will see you next time. Love you. Blessed be.